Hey guys, it's me, Cruel, back again with another action video on this channel. Today I'll be watching reacting to the Pink Fantasy comic called Lemon Candy. Uh, this is only my second time checking out Pink Fantasy. I really liked their last song, I think it was called Shadow Play, if I remember correctly. And um, I was very intrigued by their concept with having like this one hidden member with uh, Dae Wang, I think. Um, yeah, I have not seen any teasers for this comic, so I'm pretty excited to see what it's gonna be. And yeah, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you like what I do, then leave a subscribe um, to not miss any videos in the future. I have at least one per day on YouTube and multiple times a week on top of that on my Patreon. Where I also react to other stuff like last year just I do album reviews, I react to TV shows, K-dramas and much more. If you're interested in that or in my Discord server, then both are linked in the description of this video. Thank you so much for checking those out if you're interested. And yeah, quick shout out to my Patreons for January before I get started with the video. Uh, special shout out goes out to Fortitory Art Namir, Super Vincent Eldritch. Thank you so much. Let's get started. Um, there are subtitles, but translated from Google, but better than nothing, I guess. Let's get started. Lemon candy. Sounds kind of sweet, but wait, what that shot? Interesting. So this is uh, Sia, I think, the main rapper. Arang. But after that, I have okay. I, I see Daewang too, but the others I sometimes have problems with, because um. I really like Sia, I think. Uh, probably my bias if I had to pick one. Daewang, of course, is very easy to see, and Arang is the only blonde here, so. Hansel and Gretel. So far, it's pretty cute. But it's like this. Hidden girl crush vibe? I don't know. So far, it's very interesting the way they shoot this, right? They have a lot of close up shots and then still move well, have been close up, but the camera moves with them. It's pretty interestingly shot, and that's like a really old laptop, my god. Okay, see ya. Is this here? No, I think maybe this is. Ooh, I like her voice. It's a very, very powerful and um, full voice. Hey. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, Arang, I see you. I love how some of them are. And this might sound controversial to some of you guys, but I personally think I love that they look some somewhat chubby at, uh, at times, like some of them. I love that so much. Please let there be more idols like that because I just want to see diversity and I also just want to see them, yeah, be like they want to be, right? I don't want like every idol to be like 30 kilogram and perfect in a sense. To me, I don't care about that, right? Like my, my old bias literally is Swats of Mama Mamu, so yeah, I love that. I love to see that. <laughs> <laughs> the way she pulled out though. <laughs> Relatable. Yeah, no wonder that the laptop doesn't work. Wow. She's so pretty. The girl right now. In center. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about that little, little lemon part. Like it's a very distorted, almost like fully auto-tuned sample voice. Kind of sounds weird. What's happening now? It's 
kind of like the bridge time. Wow. <laughs> oh, this girl with the high note. Wow. By the way, isn't this girl in center right now? Isn't it uh, Sia or am I tripping? I like her a lot though. Like the girl in center right now is probably my favorite in this video. <laughs> so cute. I love her. Okay. Okay. That was Pink Fantasy with Lemon Candy. That was, despite lemons being very sour and, or I guess, bitter more so, a very cute video. Um, I just now realized this probably is to, supposed to be like a lemon onesie or something. Um, yeah, but the chorus is interesting because um, there's no drop. There's um, basically no real change in tempo from the pre-chorus to the chorus. It's very much so, sometimes not clear what the chorus actually is. So it's... Um, Definitely atypical, because that's not something that is usually done in these, these days in K-pop. Um, I guess that's on the one hand very interesting and positive for them. On the other hand, I was a bit taken aback and like um, it, it literally happens so rarely that I have to process this a little bit. But um, I think I think it was a bit too artificial the song, if that makes sense for me. Um, they had a lot of like similar notes even though it was a different member singing it they were kind of like just pretty one-dimensional with the vocals in the song which is pretty sad to see the only member that really stuck out a little bit was the member that i pointed out a couple times um her because her voice is a little bit deeper and um much richer so she actually hit some i guess some points with her note that the other members couldn't hit and that made her singing sound a little bit different from the others, but most of the others sounded pretty much the same, which is a bit, I don't know, if I just listened to this on my Spotify, I would think it's the same, like, I know it's not the same member, but I would not be able to tell who is who, other than this girl, maybe, um, because they all different, basically sound the same, in my opinion, in this song. Um, I wasn't, like, disliking the song, though. The production was fine, um, the video is cute, overall, it's decent. You know, for I guess Nuga Group, you could call it Nuga Group, right? I think this is a pretty like good to decent to good song, just not really what I'm looking for, to be honest. But yeah, that is my reaction to Pink Fantasy's Lemon Candy. I think I probably like Shadow Play a little bit more than that, but um, I still hope they're coming back again. I always hope that for uh, Nuga Groups, and that's why I'm also reacting to basically everything, right? To give them some exposure, even if it's like only a few people maybe finding a new group or a new song that they like and also of course I like the video um, I watch the video and stuff like that so um, I'm trying to to help every group every artist no matter if I like them or not I think everyone should be deserved of a chance and uh, there's always people that like the music always always so even if I don't like it which I don't know before of course but even if I don't end up liking it um, I, I always think about there's people that love these girls or these boys or whatever um, and they want to see more of them, so I always support the artists no matter what. So yeah, anyways, that is my reaction to Pink Fantasy. Uh, do let me know in the comments what you guys thought of the song. I'm very intrigued by that. And um, yeah, that's it for me. Have a nice day. See you next one. Peace.